It's a common household item. I think I have some of this in under my kitchen sink. <laughs> and Diana Ferguson uses it the right way to kill wasps and other flying insects, but... We're seeing this here on the streets in Boone County. State police now have reason to believe it played a role in three overdoses last week. People were making a synthetic type methamphetamine out of wasp spray. Drugs are, in my opinion, they're so bad around here. It's so available to people and in all the time trying things new that we wouldn't even think about. On Friday, stores in Boone County reported selling nearly 30 cans of the spray. Sergeant Sutphin says the physical effects are erratic behavior and extreme swelling and redness of the hands and feet. From what we're being told that if you use it, you know, you might use it once or twice and be fine. Then the third time when your body hits that allergic reaction, it can kill you. The challenge is how to treat these symptoms and prevent the use of this legal cheap product for harm. You don't know what the overall results of their usage of this is going to be. We have great grandbabies and to think what they're going to grow up in, what's going to be available to them and you know what people are going to try to get them to try. It's really scary.